Jazz Rogonzo here. What's next? After remembering Memorial Day and the sacrifices that were made um, for those before us um, regarding our liberties and freedoms, um, those same liberties and freedoms that are so protected, um, that are sacrificed for, sadly, you take the good with the bad. And this is the bad. Let's take a look at this. This comes out of the Blaze Media. Villanova assistant professor advocates for critical race theory because it has Marxist roots relates to religion. Yeah. There you have it. These are the ones you're teaching your kids, folks, at Villanova. While many have been trying to hide the, any correlation and links between critical race theory and Marxism, you can't. One assistant professor openly admits that CRT is based on the teachings of socialist revolutionary Karl Marx. Okay. Glenn Bracey, an assistant professor of sociology and criminology at Villanova, is a strong proponent of CRT because it has Marxist roots. Bracey made the admission during a remote discussion about critical race theory on Zoom. The seminar was posted on Villanova's official YouTube channel, which turned off comments. Shocker. What is critical race theory? Bracey appeared to promote critical race theory at a private Catholic institution by comparing the controversial ideology to religion. Quote, given the power, frankly, of the church to move politics, given its funding, given how so many people come to the academy first with the church as a large backdrop of their lives, it is important that we, as critical race theorists, are able to speak to them on their terms, Bracey said. Adding, so I would say that we as critical race theorists would continue to be aggressive and promoting critical race theory that we should say how it relates to spirituality and religion in particular. Now, let me go all the way to the bottom here and just play a little clip of this nonsense. Invitation and thank you for everybody. Thank you to everybody who has decided to join us today. I greatly appreciate it. I'm looking forward to the conversation and hearing what everybody has to say. I want to start by answering the question directly. What is critical race theory? And uh, because not everybody knows and there's a lot of debate about what it is. So I'll say critical race theory is a uh, movement that started from leftists in law schools in the late 20th century, let's call it the, the late 1970s, uh, early 1980s, and has grown since then to reach into lots of academic uh, areas. It's fundamentally a critique of how race shapes and is shaped by the law. How race shapes the law in terms of uh, legal jurisprudence, uh, legislation, uh, law school pedagogy and enforcement of the law. It's a, it's a look at how law racializes every aspect of our lives from constructing racial categories themselves and defining what each racial category means. What See how he tries to justify um, motivating and motivates racial race in every aspect of our lives. Our practicable rights in terms of reproduction and immigration and education uh, and, and activism, which is a very big deal today. We've seen, obviously, from January 6th, the way that uh, different activism is treated differently depending on who the racialized actors are. My thoughts. As you can clearly decipher from Bracey's comments, that race affects, like I just said moments ago, every aspect of our lives in their minds, which is clearly false. It doesn't. January 6th had nothing to do with what happened with I don't know, over a half a dozen cities being burned last year to the ground, buildings looted, cops getting shot, residents abandoned. No need to rehash. But when you are going to blame an entire race for so-called patriarchy, you know, all the wars being set, you know, you not getting a job, you not getting an education, because it has nothing to do with your 
experiences has nothing to do with your education. I'm sorry, just I mentioned education, excuse me, regarding your ability. Uh, to push yourself to be the best that you can be regarding your education, regarding um, in business, and um, and so forth. But you're going to blame it on race. I can't get this job. Well, it's because I'm black. I can't get this job because I'm, I'm Hispanic. I can't get this job because I'm Asian. Well, one, those are all false. Those are all false. And those are all, I would say, not even false, complete lies. Your color has zero to do with your ability to improve yourself as a person, to improve yourself to, for your family. Um, so when you have these educated people, these big brains telling you, well, it's because you're white, because that's the problem. When you have corporations saying that's white is the problem. When you have social media and media, the legacy media telling you that it's white, is the problem and not you getting up off your ass and doing something about it. That's a problem. That's the problem. And speaking as a, an Hispanic male, um, I never looked at myself as saying, well, you know, it's Whitey's fault, the reason why I can't get A, B, or C. No, it's me. It all falls on me. Either you educate yourself, either you uh, get the experience you need, either you put forth um, um, constructive theories on how I can do better. And when a business asks of you, what can you do for me? You're just going to sit there and go, well, you know, it's because it's Whitey. Well, now that's become the default. And sadly, these big brains are just saying that, and they clearly admit that CRT has its roots in Marxism. It's no shocker. It's no shocker. The leader of Black Lies says, yeah, we're Marxists. As they're burning down your Target and your, uh, your Wendy's, you know. Yeah, you know, but it's all the end. It's all peaceful because it's off of a cause. Yikes. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is what's next. You want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And uh, oof. we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.